I think if you do this kind of thing long enough, you wind up with one of those projects that when you're done, uh, you're just not that happy with it. I bought this 69 VW Square back at the local grocery store for $3. It's the 50th anniversary issue with real riders, but the casting was actually introduced into the Hot Wheels line in 2010. It's a recreation of the rarest Type 3 VW, the panel. They were only produced by VW in Germany and Australia. This is a 2018 version of the Hot Wheels 50th anniversary release. It wasn't that I thought Hot Wheels did a bad job on it. I just thought it was a nice casting at a good price, even if all I did was swipe the real riders off it for something else. I actually did the project and in my mind's eye. I saw something completely different than how it ended up. I was really disappointed and I never did a video on the project. This week, I decided to revisit the casting to see if I could do something better with it. So stick around. If you didn't care What happened to me? And I didn't care For you We would zigzag away Through the bottom of pain Occasionally glancing up through the rain Wondering which of the brothers to blame And watching for pigs on the wing You know that I care What happens to you? And I know that you care For me too So I don't feel alone On the way to the stone Now that I've found somewhere safe To bury my bone And any fool knows A dog needs a home A shelter from pigs on the wing So there you have it. The VW Squareback Panel Do Over. This is a color I created with Tamiya Clears. X23 Blue, X24 Yellow, and X25 Green. I was shooting for a turquoise hue. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed, some uh, have even asked why I haven't been painting Spectroflame lately, and the short answer is, is that it started causing me problems. But the acrylics and my newfound rattle can options leave me plenty of opportunities to paint toys. 
I had painted the center of the wheels yellow in the first iteration and I tried changing it to turquoise, but it made it too green. The problem for me is that oftentimes anything you do to remove the paint takes some of the chrome too, if not all of it, so I opted just for black centers. The interior I painted white because the car was just too dark with the black interior. Maybe it's not particularly remarkable or a vast improvement, but I do think it's a nice looking little toy. An episode of The Bench follows the video, so stick around if you like that kind of thing. This is Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you. Thanks for hanging around for this edition of The Bench. Lots of stuff coming up. I'm working on my Hummer for the Hummer Bummer build, trying to pick a color. Uh, that's coming up on September 5th, and if you don't see your name sliding across the screen and you want to be a part of this build, be sure to email us at uh, 3 um, This weekend, I'm doing a build with CK Project X, and my 66 Corvette is actually done. I just have to make the video. God, he's such a great painter. Uh, makes a mouse want to crawl into a hole and cry. Be sure to go check him out. And then on October 17th, uh, in, in a first ever, the Bee Feeders, the Four Horsemen, and the Three Blind Mice will be painting things pink in a global breast cancer awareness build. I'm planning three or four cars to be auctioned on eBay with 100% of the proceeds going to cancer research. In fact, I'm already working on them. Uh, head over to the Three Blind Mice site and leave us a note if you're going to paint pink with us. Uh, last, Jim Silva sent me this little 36 Ford Coupe, a red line, released in 1969. Weird thing is, the roof and the top of the car are black, and that's not what I've been finding. Usually, it's just one of those little black squares on the top, and the rumble seat's the same cover, uh, color as the car. The odd thing is, is that the paint looks like it's original. Has anybody ever seen one of these like this, or know if it's an actual product, or did somebody paint it? Uh, anyway, I'm going to forego the photography today and leave you all with a little chuckle, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed the video and it finds you healthy, happy, and wise.